guys. I hope you're well on this Monday evening. Um, fantastic news. I started a petition today for all gambling, um, for the gambling industry uh, within, the, within the UK to have tighter controls uh, within gambling throughout the whole of the UK, whether it be pussies, casinos, and online uh, gambling as well. UK based, okay? The petition details will be um, in this video, in the comments section at the start of the video. It will be there, okay? But it's at, um, it's at the um, website is called, um, um, the web website's called now. It's been there for one second. I do apologize. The name of the actual um, website is called petition.net uh, and the name of the actual petition is called much tighter controls around gambling within the uk so details will be where you can sign on for this and sign the petition um you can find me on twitter um at gambling uh, termination gambling um, and all my details will be at the video at the end but the most important thing guys is to sign this petition subscribe to my channel so we can really really start something to, and get something done with regards to putting some rules and regu tighter rules and regulations around gambling because our government doesn't do enough and they need a big push but i'll come back to that at the end what i want to tell you is the four things that i've done now with regards to this petition situation there's four key things that i wanted to put in this petition um there's plenty of other things. I'm sure that one of you will think of one, but the four the the four key things for me starts with the bookies in the high street and the casinos, okay, and online as well, okay. No, sorry, well that I'm gonna come back to the online, but the times that the bookies and the high street bookies and the casinos are open till they open at eight o'clock in the morning, some of them, and they don't close till till half nine, ten o'clock at night. Now, I remember a time when the bookies used to be open for a few hours in the daytime. Now it's open, it's in your face constantly. Is that right? Yeah? Is that looking after the vulnerable and the mentally ill and the addicted kind of people? I don't think it is. Um, I really, really think that we're not looking after our people here. Okay? We're throwing it in their faces online, then we're throwing it in our faces on TV, and when they go out in the street, we're throwing it in their faces there. Something has to be done with regards to the the times that these places are open. They have to be managed better there. And, and, and it's getting ridiculous, okay? So that's the first thing. Second, and the most important one of all, is daily limits. Now at the moment, I can walk into a betting shop and I can gamble away 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 grand and no one will say nothing, okay? In the meantime, I do that, okay? I've lost my home because of that. I have to remortgage the house. The wife would leave me with the kids. I'm suicidal, okay? Now, for an escapism gambler like me, and I'm sure there's thousands of escapism gamblers out there, they have no control over what they do when they go into that moment. They want to release themselves from any kind of problem or underlying issue that they may have. For me, it was borderline personality disorder. My way of escaping my emotional problems and my 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 demons was to gamble. Um, so with the the, the awareness of, gam of of mental health these days, the government has an obligation to protect, to protect the vulnerable and protect the mentally ill. And with gambling, they're not. For example, if I worked in a call centre and someone rang up and they were mentally challenged, they um, couldn't, uh, they didn't have very good judgment and they didn't have very good memory and they weren't really in control of their finances, okay? And they wanted to buy a mobile phone. Now, I know for a fact that mobile phone providers and other organisations that have call centres will not do any transactions with any customers if they feel that mentally they don't know what they're doing. 
Now I could walk into a bookies tomorrow, okay, and no one would know that I'm mentally challenged, and I could place 50 quid on there. And I know for a fact that that bookie would take it because they don't care, okay? So the point I'm trying to make is daily limits have to be put in place. Now, at the moment, we can go on to a betting website. We can go on into the bookies and the casinos, gamble as much as we like. We can set daily limits online, but only we can. Every time a gambler sets up a new account, every time a gambler walks into a betting shop or a casino or an online website, it is down to the organization there and then to set that daily limit. Okay? So, for an under 25 year old, it could be 50 pound. For an over 25 year old, it could be 100 pound. So, when you walk into that bookie, so that can see you make your first bet, you're then given a card, and in that card, it will be your history of that day. And you'll be stopped. You'll be, once you reach a limit of 100 quid or 50 quid, it's over. And the same applies online as well. Because at the moment, there's no protection whatsoever. Okay, the third thing that I want to talk about, which I think it goes unnoticed, by by the way, with the, with the, with the daily limits, that is completely compulsory, and that also is with regards to betting machines as well. You know, the actual gambling machines you have in these bookies, and also the gambling machines you have in casinos as well. It's across the board; it's compulsory. The third thing I want to talk about as well. Um, is these virtual horse racing and virtual dog racing in the betting shops and uh, and um, betting shops mostly, yeah? Also, you get them on websites as well, online gambling sites as well. Virtual racing, it's called. You can have virtual uh, horse racing, virtual dog racing, virtual motor racing, cycling, all sorts. Now, for me, this is going to notice because these races are kicking off every 30 seconds. And people can get into vast amounts of debt in a very short period of time. Um, virtual racing needs to be completely banned online and in the shops. Completely banned. Okay, there should only be allowed to have football, horse racing, and dogs in the shops. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and if people have a little flutter on them, fair enough. Okay, but virtual racing. It's just a very, very clever money-making scheme by these gambling companies, and it's putting people into huge, huge debt. That needs to be absolutely wiped out. That needs to be banned, okay? So we've gone through daily limits. We've gone through opening times of the bookies, and we've gone through advertising. There is a fourth thing as well. Let me for one second. The fourth thing is... Virtual racing, um, betting in the shops limits. Let me for one second, guys. There is a fourth thing. I'm going to tell you what that is right now. Sorry about this. So, basically, the petition, you know, if we can get as many people to sign this petition as possible, it will make a massive difference. Okay, it will change people's lives. Um, it will save lives as well, which is also very, very important, as we know. So, just going to bring up the details of the petition now. One moment. Um, but how's everyone's weekend been? You know, how have how how have you felt with your gambling this weekend? You know, it, let me let me know. Send me a tweet. Um, put a message in this video uh, comment section. Let me know how your gambling's going. Let me know if you if you if you find ways to deal with it. Okay, I'm more than happy to give encouragement on this wherever I can. Okay, so let's have a little look at this then. Um, petition. So, four things. Okay, so we've gone through 
three things. The last thing I wanted to talk to you about was advertising. Advertising. Television advertising. Bookmaker advertising. Newspaper advertising. Website advertising. Constantly in the kids' faces. Constantly in everyone's face. Okay? Anyone with addictive personality is going to take hold of this. All forms of advertising throughout the UK needs to end straight away. Straight away. Cigarettes and alcohol do not get advertised hardly ever now. Okay? I defy anyone to tell me that gambling isn't as serious as cigarette addiction and alcohol addiction. It's on the same level as any kind of serious addiction. And you, the government, you, the gambling commission... You are putting it in the faces of the mentally ill, the vulnerable. You are not protecting our children and you are not protecting our children's children. Okay? So they're the four big things in that petition that, that stand out for me. And if you feel that way, guys, sign the petition. It's going to be in the video link. It's going to be in the comment section for you to go on. Go on to my Twitter. Start following me. Start subscribing. All I want to do is help you guys and I want you guys to help me I want us all to help each other but at the same time if you if you if you if you go around the same cycle as I do put your hands up put your hands up if you put if you go through the same cycle as me where every single day you get out of bed you do everything great and after six months or nine months boom a problem comes along or something comes along and you're straight back in the bookies and you lost everything again. Then you've got to start from scratch. Do you want that cycle to end? Because I tell you something right here, right now. Therapy will work. Therapy will, will make you more aware. Therapy will make you control your triggers. Therapy is fantastic and it will do a job. Okay, It will make it easier for you. So get the help. However, however... It's not all down to us. The government and the gambling companies have to do more to protect the vulnerable. And they're not doing that. They're not protecting the addictive people that have addictive personalities. They're not protecting the people that have mental conditions. that can't help what they're doing. We can only do as far as, far as what we can do. Which is basically get the help that we need. Okay, But the rest of them, they're not giving us tighter controls. Okay, It's up to them to help us as well. I pray, I pray to God, okay, that these that they can do more for us. I pray, and I will fight this every single day for you, for me, for the families that get destroyed through gambling. I will fight us. I will fight everything. Stand with me. Follow me. Let's do this. Love you. Love you to bits, guys.